Hello everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... He is a might Lieutenant Drakir at your service. <laughs> and yeah, welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2. We were planning to do L.A. Noir originally, along with Rom, but yeah, something came up last minute. So yeah, that is why I always say, you know, that is why I always add bits like uh, if everything goes all right, because uh, yeah. <laughs> Mode of Light lost second... Look them uh, about half an hour ago so first reply was i but then i saw a sp one second a few seconds directly after that uh, he said actually no i'm gonna be busy yeah so i'm guessing something so, which family came up but I yeah guess, uh, <laughs> i think he originally meant yes but then as often he said that uh, yeah with double finger something came up yeah and uh, yeah, that is why okay. I have a few backup games ready. And well, we'll be playing Dinosaur Zoo Tycoon instead. <laughs> mm. Oh dear. Okay. And not a, a single dinosaur is on view. We have a marine reptile and a turtle. Yeah. It's also <laughs> counted as a marine reptile, but a separate category. Yeah, and well, the, the iconic gates. But yeah, the big question now is. Shall we go through the campaign, which is basically a glorified tutorial, or shall we jump straight into the sandbox? Because it has been a bit since I played this game as well. <laughs> Hello there, one sirs. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hope you all enjoyed the show. <laughs> oh, I came off nowhere, but I did yeah. not get jump scared this time. Okay. Oh, welcome. Yeah, how oh, are you doing today? Well, uh, if I may ask. And yeah. Shall we just do the campaign, refresh a bit on this and such? Hmm? You know what? The, the, let's do the campaign. Right. I guess. And that's good to hear, monsters. Okay. There are multiple <laughs> of these. But some of these are only with DLC, so we'll just do the DFW, Department of Fish and Wildlife, because apparently dinosaurs fall under that. <laughs> okay, I have gotten through these before, and they aren't too long. But yeah, it'll at least be it'll at least make for a good refresher. Oh yeah, yeah reload, I think it's the replay. first one uh, a while back. How about the second Jurassic one? World. This, this is where our story begins. Scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. Time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition, ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science, to assets destined for exploitation. Now 
perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. <laughs> got a bit of goosebumps from that because yeah you kind of maybe it's because i've grown up with some of the jurassic park stuff and such but yeah you could just feel some of the weight of the just how much of an impact this franchise has made huh and i think oh, the one yeah. that we did a stream way 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 back with was this same game but we jumped straight into sandbox with that to us a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So, we're left with a problem, or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Uh, yeah, uh, I believe that is the actual actor, and oh, apparently there's a bit right, of... Is... Okay, I Let's guess go. an introduction is in order. <laughs> I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See? Nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... And a Capture Team helicopter. Yeah, those two, though, I don't think those are the original <laughs> actors. Um, oh, give me a minute of a moment. convincing, though. Let's drop that to high, see if that makes, speeds things up a little bit. Let's see, because this game does have a bit of a GPU draw. Okay, just a bit yep, lower. Okay. I'm gonna read out the shed in meanwhile for one stars. Haha. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah. I don't start up. It's like he's the king of a kingdom and you're an assistant. Basically. <laughs> Are they referring okay. to you and me, or Finch and you? Okay, as in any tycoon game, we need to start building stuff. We need to connect stuff, so we, we need a are path. Making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does us good if it's operational. Yeah, it's uh, blocking off the stuff that we don't need to do at the moment. And hello again, pizza lover. Are you doing well? Okay. Welcome back, pizza lover. These and, things uh, are good for to start with, but you'll want to get rid of them ASAP because they are extremely expensive to run. Okay, it's a simple path. Click and click. Okay. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can track it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. 
and let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm good, uh, Pizza Lover. Thank you for asking. Let's see. Da -da -da. Hello. Oh, yeah. Missing streams. Never in a million, million years. Some goods. You all see my new page? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> it was. It's nice. Uh, did you have a commission for something? Uh, uh, let's... I can look at that. No, I can't. Ah, there they are. You, we can... Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, actually. It's quite nice. Look, it's sweet. Okay. Yeah, we, we can't crash the helicopter. And let's see. A modes. We can... Or we should wait, be able... Wait, yeah, wait, we wait. can zoom. What, what, what did you just say? Hmm? No, we can't crash the helicopter. Nice shot. Okay, there is a bit it's of travel a, time. It's a Christmas miracle, it's not even Christmas. Claire, this is over. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Okay, you can capture your dinos, or you can uh, sedate your dinos manually, but you can also send these uh, capture teams after your dinos uh, when they get out of the enclosure. And to go grab them, we just get in the uh, big helicopters. So there, send it to somewhere that isn't obstructed. And let's see. I forget where they actually. Uh, okay, they come flying in from the off, from off screen. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Onesters, the Rex goes roar, the Struti goes peep. Uh, John okay. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge. And perhaps opportunity. Yeah, I will have to say that the second Jurassic World movie ended on a very interesting note with that. I haven't seen the last one though, so I, I don't know I if they captured. actually make good use of it or not. They almost did. Do. I have the extended version, which is the recommended one for. It gets more confusion with uh, if it, uh, the extra cutscenes and all that. Yeah, because stuff however, that tends to be important tends to get cut. However, obviously the third movie of Jurassic World is sad a victim to the pandemic. Okay. And maybe also due to the actor of Ian Malcolm. Oh? He had a lot of sea of changing some scenes. Which some could have been improvement, but others could have been making worse. But apparently... He almost threw a lot of people insane. <laughs> if the worst is to believe that. Not say he's the fault with going badly. I think the main issue what happened with the movie since it got too late was the damn pandemic sense. Oof, yeah, I instantly good luck recognize this planning storyline properly. It's kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. Uh, let's see, pizza. I literally made it myself today six hours ago. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> good job. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Okay, as in with all of these, we need to put down, well, things to feed them. Wait, and for that, we well, we put in a fish tank, basically. On this Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what. If this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these ranger vehicles can take a hit, but well, we they can also be rather easily attacked. We still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? 
Okay, Claire, how about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? Better, yeah. Uh, let's see, environment. Then we go here, yeah. And then we just need to add some rock there. Okay. Now, uh, if we I believe, yeah, if we click on it, let's see, there needs to be more rock. Uh, let's see, I know with Planet Zoo that you can take a look at this and see how much the, <clears throat> how much uh, you need to do still. I forget if this has the same. Let's see. Uh, it's a pizza lover is literally combines three things I love the most: a pizza, a good suit, and the colors black and white. <laughs> uh, oops, wrong. There we go. Uh, let's see. Monsters, I've been looking for my a friend that's live streaming this. Okay. Uh, who are they then, if I may ask? Let's see. Okay, that's enough. Let's see. Yeah, we can see their requirements for their comfort here. They, well, they don't care if they have others here. They have enough area to point uh, at least two square kilometers, I believe, that counts. <coughs> oh, oh, wait. Cohabitation is with other species. I, yeah, this is their population. Uh, they have one fishing feeding monitor spot. These dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Yeah. Ranger post. When assigned to a ranger post, a ranger team will monitor the welfare of all dinosaurs within the post radius. In addition, they will refill nearby feeders as needed. Yep. Okay, and these have a radius, so you may have to make sure that most of the uh, enclosure is covered by these. And then we need to assign a team. And since we have only one team at the moment, that's simple enough. Um. What? In middle of the whole thing? <laughs> I'm <laughs> getting reports of um. dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Okay, there goes the capture team. And why are they going after the dino, after the Baryonics? Or not? Okay. And is it for us now? I don't know, that's the problem. Oh, you do. Oh, I think they're trying to find them, not found them yet. Okay. Oh. So you don't need, you don't know their username or such? Hmm. Okay. Three triceratops. Okay. Nope. Uh, wrong side. Go. Zoom in. It Is doesn't it matter where we hit them as long as we hit it. them. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. One shot is not enough to take them out or knock them out. So there we go. At least they're decently slow. One's making a runner, must have missed. Yeah, there, there is a fall off with these shots. There we go. Oh, thank you, pizza lover. Subscribe to the YouTube app. Thank you. It is a lot easier to find everything over there. Why are you not knocked out, or is that because you're in the. Okay, you were just being a bit antsy or something. Okay, transports. Multi selects one, two, and three, and back over here. Okay, we'll need to move them over here, but uh, final selection, yes. One, two, and three. But yeah, we'll need to make we can't put them in there with the baryonics because I'm pretty sure they will start hunting each other. So instead, um, we need to finish this, or rather the baryonics no. will hunt them. 
Yeah, I think it would try to hunt them or... I think uh, normally a battery would probably e try avoid the Triceratops. At least a grow full, fully grown one. Okay. Asset transportation underway. There we go. That's about as square as I can get it. Okay. It does take a bit of time before these actually connect or actually get built. With the the tougher the security grade, which is that little shield there, uh, the longer it takes. So you'll want to make these things ahead of time, typically, instead of just building them out as you fill them in. <laughs> uh, let's see, Pitch Lover just can't wait to see myself in one of the vids. Okay, there's still a few that I need to publish, plus I still need to upload the one from earlier today. But I'll just do that at the same time as I'm as I uh, have this uh, stream processing afterwards. Okay, oh, let's speed this up a it little bit. Me. I was thinking about something before stream. Oh. And then some of it did on the first stream of this, of this game. We should probably name some of the titles after our viewers. <laughs> yeah, and just friends as well. Uh, let's see. Enclosure. We need a post up here as well to get these checked out. Set the ranger team to that. Add the capture team as well in case they get rowdy. But typically, as long as you have the, as long as long as the dinos are comfortable, they generally won't actually try to escape. Because well, they're the nice and comfortable right where they are freaking are. Uh, let's see, let's make this a little bit easier for the ranger team and give them a shortcut through. What and the heck is going on in chat? <laughs> okay, one of the one of the commands is broken, so it seems. Uh, let's see, this API is deprived, yeah, deprecated and discontinued. Okay, the heck? Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional uh, uh, galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Yeah, this is how we do it, boss. We can still see it here. Okay. Let's add in some here. water for them. From one, uh, one stir, try to make a uh, fence out of gate, but did it work? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't think that that's going to count, no. <laughs> okay. And yeah, these outlines is the, ter is the territory of the dinos. And as they move around, it will expand until they have enough space. Uh, typically, it will just go until they reach the barriers of their <clears throat> of their habitats. But of course, the bigger ones are going to take a while to fill everything out. So yeah, for the moment, they are perfectly happy with what they have already. Okay. Uh, see the chat here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, got such like you do nice. It's kind of uh, 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 it's kind of easy, kind of it's not broken. But five months? Damn, feels longer than that. <laughs> five months? <laughs> Bloody heck! I wonder. That might be about right. Okay. Let's see. On the star, don't try to make a fence out of gates, even though they are not the most secure. Oh, this new is calm and sleep worthy for pizza lover, and ones are true. <laughs> Yeah, this, okay. this, this is a good this is a decent game for uh, just relaxing as well. Yeah, that's kind of what we picked a little bit shield stream, but it's not too shield to boredom since we still need to be on guard a bit. Yeah, since things can go wrong, diners can get sick, and they can get pretty grumpy when they do. But we don't have any I mean, medical stuff at the moment. Okay. And yeah, this plays into uh, one of the aspects of the game, and that is so dinosaur appeal. Running free, 
our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. Okay. Let's see, Resp expedition center, okay. Let's put that right over here. Connect the path. There we go. It is going easy on us, but you typically will want to leave quite a bit of space on the sides of these. Not just for decorations or such, but because later on you can get upgrades for wider pathways. Don't ask me why you need to research how wide a path gets, how to make a wider path, but I will. Because, yeah, once things get busy in a park, you will get complaints of overcrowding on pathways and such. Okay. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. <laughs> and yeah, here we have another ice pact. We will need other people to do work as well. Especially, well, these specific ones. Logistics, genetics, and welfare. For research and for just general tasks as well. And let's see, everyone here has decent stats, at least. Okay, faster research. They also have these traits, one each, that are always, you know, well, typically can be really useful. Uh, let's see, positive influence decreases task time by 20% if assigned with at least one other scientist member. That's pretty good. Altruistic salary, reduce the press salary by 50%, because of course we will need to keep paying these people. Wait, hold on, hold on. Or I think so. <laughs> Cost per minute. Uh, let's see. I know it's. I don't think this is cost per minute. This is just a recruiting. Uh, the recruiting salary. Uh, I'm reading cost per minute uh, up there. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. Altruistic payment. I ask. <laughs> you seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? I think compared to Owen, this one... You there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit. Oi. <laughs> and these can pop up here and there. Let's see. Instant alerts. Our operatives in the field have received an instant alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of Las Vegas. Two injuries have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the, th the threat. Okay. Best to send someone right now. Let's see. Four stegos. Okay. And let's see. We need two logistics, which both of these can do. So, let's send Conde. Uh, yep. And it'll take some time to progress. Before the remote capture uh, teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, there was a there's a small thing I kind of years of uh, this game and games like this that have very realistic photos of people. Mm hmm. There. Photos look way better than everyone's uh, ID card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's make a bit over this way for the moment. Though I'm pretty sure that Stego should be able to cohabitate with Triceratops. Okay, then we just put a gate right here. And might as well add one there. Okay. Uh, let's see, Pizza Lover, I think you are still muted. Ah, uh, the most repeatable thing for everybody, yeah. Like, we've had at least one stream where I was just completely muted the entire time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Robert, I was able to hear you, but your voice was not recorded. Only mine was. And we had to... Recommentate that video. We got to know that it the last five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Here come the stegos. 
Uh, let's see, pizza. Ah, yes, hunting and capturing dinosaurs, the most relaxing. <laughs> and monsters used to play this, okay. Hope you enjoyed it. And how far exactly did you get with it? Like, I, I haven't done too much with this game. Like, I've gotten through the campaign and most of the Chaos Theory stuff. Let's see. Actually... Let's see, I think these can cohabitate with the others. And, yeah, if they can spot each other or get close enough to each other, they will form our herds. And then we'll automatically they spot they out. Cannot, they cannot, they cannot cohabitate. Okay. Uh, uh, click on it, click on it again, uh, it again there. Ah, uh, yeah, here they, here we see the things they like yeah. and dislike. Ceratopsid. Yeah, they are stegosaurus. Ceratopsid. Is in within the dislike. So, yeah, they should not be within yeah, the same they... area. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they, they would try to kill each other, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see, they're going to check on them. I'm presuming that this is probably going to be too small of an area, so we'll have to push it out this way, probably. Uh, let's see, okay. from Pizza Lover. So, busy for the viewers, it who? was just a key stream rather than really. an idiot stream. Well, it's just like the Basically. dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only you said it. Okay. They want ground fruits. It's not... It's sim yeah. For ease's sake, these get tagged. Okay, they need a lot of ground fiber. A little bit of water. There's probably not going to be enough room. What, and what ground fruit. Hmm? No, ground fiber. <laughs> Let's see, just put in as much of that as possible. Oh, it's actually called that, okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. I, I thought you were making up a funny nickname for it. <laughs> it's literally Again. here. <laughs> yeah, I can't even blame me. Enough at the moment. Okay. Is it seriously not? Huh. Okay, I would have expected that this would have been too small of an area for them. Okay. Anyways, though, we need to put in another of these. At the moment, they are quote unquote for research. And yeah, you can find some issues that you can run into if you put things too close to these. So let's put it on the other side. And just build out a path from there. So there. And there. Okay, pathing is something you will have to keep in mind as you really start getting, uh, yeah, start building out bigger parks and such. Uh, let's see. Can we sneak that around? Just about there. Okay. Attention all personnel. <laughs> and yeah, now we have uh, quote-unquote visitors who are all supposed to be uh, scientists, but just all reskinned in the same clothes. Problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. <laughs> and I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sad? And yeah, stuff like this can also happen. Uh, Which will, of uh, course, take yes. off uh, the dinos. Or at least some that's, of them. Go in. I'm under the table? <laughs> and of course, it's also going to mess with your attractions. Obviously, this. The scientists look more like. 
yeah. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty Earth. concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? That's you. And our personnel. Yes, of course. It's I mean, arrival. That goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one, round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then, we'll work on their safety rings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> At least he's honest with his dishonesty. <laughs> I mean, he's a bit youthful about himself. Yeah. Okay, this one will luckily stay knocked out for a good while. But we should... We should fix that hole. There... Wait. Uh, let's see if... What is not? It's funny because it's called Groundnut and Tallnut. Tallnut? I heard of Groundnut? Tall? Oh, I okay. get it. Ground nuts are not from the ground and torn nuts from the trees? Yep. Uh, let's see, how do we do repairs again? Uh, do we actually have to full on rip? Uh, actually, no. If I remember correctly, not the capture team. Uh, where is the ranger team? They were around here earlier. Uh, they were literally driving through the hole. Where the heck are they? Let's see. We should be able to send them... Ah, there you are. Add task. Repair fence. But I don't do that on normally is a question. But, uh, well. <coughs> uh, let's see. Monsters, I've completed chaos and campaign. It's funny because it's called Grand Nut and Tall Nuts, Ranger, that's a... Yeah, we had to you we had to specifically send them out on a task to do it. And whilst they're doing that, we call in the transports and put this oversized fish back in its pen. <laughs> yes, I know it's not a fish. fish. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that is why we also always have to have staff on hand for, well... When shit goes down. And just for the shits and giggles of it. Let's put that there. I've they haven't told us to do this, but might as well. Like they have viewing centers, which is good. But fences? No, no, no. Let's go with full concrete walls, please. Yeah, this is the only fence that we have available at the moment, even though it does show to have concrete in it. But, oh well. We can unlock, but you can unlock stronger gate types as you go. Oh, and this thing is running out of fuel. And this is uh -oh. why these fuckers are so expensive. Like, it takes half a million to fill this up. That's what are called backup generators, because you need to get off these things ASAP. And they're more meant for, well, backup when power fails due to storms or such. Okay. Yeah. Oh dear. Speed it up a little bit. And yeah, just priority one is keep these things contained. Priority two is keep your park from going in from going bankrupt. <laughs> Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. <laughs> okay. Washington. The dinosaur poacher ring has recently been broken up by the authorities, and after a disaster at our camp, dangerous <laughs> dinosaurs are running free, or something like that. Dangerous as you run around the region. I 
wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now, other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly as we can. Miss. Okay. You. Then, yeah, that's how they react if they are not happy in your pens. Though they can also climb over if the fences are not electric and such, and they have the ability to, well, climb. I believe there's supposed to be specific animations for each species that can climb. Okay. It doesn't seem to care too much about the bug bites in its back. Well, they are supposed to be one of the few onward predators. Just as an organization has key players, <coughs> me, <coughs> it also has key facilities that it needs to run effectively. So, you should get started with the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power. Okay, let's also first off open these things up a bit. Okay, now whilst those things are knocked out, we make ourselves, uh, let's see, response facility. Okay, let's put that around here somewhere. We can hide it partially behind that, though let's not in case we need to expand that. Okay, arrival points, I think. I think those are typically already set in mid-levels. Might as well put that at the back here. And yeah, control center there. Might as well put that close to here. And the backup generator. Though, hmm. Let's put that there. And can we still move you? Nope. Uh, okay, I should have thought that through a bit more. Yep. Okay, response facility. There, and now just the pathing. So there. Uh, let's keep these straight. There, and there. Okay. Not bad if I do say so myself. And I guess I am. But we're also going to need a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get one built. Huh? You see what I did there, huh? <laughs> response, Shut up. Response. Uh, never mind. Don't respond. Okay. Repair that. That. Claire, we need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. The ones we've already captured. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. Hmm, is that actually going to be enough for this thing here? Hmm, if not, we'll have to link these together. And <laughs> someone's happy to see Carnos, it seems. Yeah, that, is it that, that has gotten a lot of popularity over the years? Uh, let's see. Just in case, let me prepare a connection between these. There. Put a gate over there. And one over there. These enclosures look way too small for that thing. 
Yeah, we'll probably have to... We can probably stick them together at some point. Oi. You... Keep fixing those fences. Hey, wait, there. there are two Carnos. Yeah, we can only give them five tasks at a time. Let's see, Carno small but fierce. Yeah, they are. They are quite that. They're quite the same in uh, Ark Survival. Yeah, they, they are speedy too. Like they were. They have been compared to leopards and sheep of of their day. Two legged cheetahs. So they uh, were basically the boss the predator of the size class. Or a weight class or something like that. Okay. Let's put that about there. Assign the ranger team. Oh, and God, the capture realized. team. A team like realistically would ignore a human. Like too much energy for, for too little hey. nourishment. But for Kono? Oh, it, it, oh, it repair might be a worthwhile Ooh. snack. Okay. Let's move these Attention together. Planted. And open that up. Okay, that should be a lot more of a decent space. Still small, but better at least. It looks uncomfortably slim yeah like it's not from i can speak from experience it's not a good idea to make thin uh, habitats you'll want at least a good distance just not not just for being able to place stuff along the edges and such but also yeah if you want bigger herds and such let's see missing open space okay yeah its area is too small at the moment and it is still exploring and yeah it looks like this place is going to be too small for it so we go this over to the fences the there i like that it has these snap two points there uh, we will have to deal with this we'll have yeah, we'll have to move the gates there we'll have to move quite a removed quite a bit as well from here there and there just put a gate here okay now let's deal with its comfort it needs prey and it needs sand so we get ourselves I, a feeder i got an idea we have two cornos hmm there are two viewers, currently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see I see where you want to go. Hinting at? Yep. Okay. There. And there. <laughs> okay, let's slow it back down. Now, are these two still in range of the ranger post? Yeah. Okay. It's a good thing that those are quite... Eh, those have quite the uh, range. Yeah, and we might as well open something up. something to drink. But you can read the chat in meanwhile, Hill. Yeah, give me a sec. Uh, okay, this is annoying. Let's see. Okay, we're playing it rather simple with these at the moment, but I believe you will typically want to uh, make a little special space for those. And run that through that there. Uh, let's see, one nesters. Yeah, Karnos are basically our raptor racks, but smaller than a rex, but suck at turning. <laughs> no my. <laughs> Yeah, typically from what I know, you would want to build a little, uh, oop, hello. They had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady, it's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. 
Yeah, you typically for those viewing platforms to maximize the effect, you would want to build a little crop house for them to put, to put them in. You know, not that I'm promising anything. Because they have blind spots on the sides. Okay. It, Wait, no need to what keep was that not the blade? I can't actually it tell. Like it looks like it's a... Mm. <laughs> like five overs and a H. Everything points in this direction. Let's see, it could be, it could be that it's zero, 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 oh, H. <laughs> Still looks mm -hmm. like an Easter egg joke. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, luckily they'll flip themselves. <laughs> Okay. What there are we to do with you? Say what you want about the dinosaurs, but they're not subtle. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm. As opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm of its own. Okay. Uh, dear. Let's see, Gallimimus, Triceratops. Not the one we're looking for, though. I feel like we're getting close. And uh, as nice as these little bits are, they are only limited to the, uh, yeah, to the career, to my knowledge. It would have been fun to have a bit of a roguelite uh, version of you know, a roguelite scenario for the game, where you will go have to go out and look for dinosaurs yourself and adjust to what you find out there. And yeah, we're tracking an Allosaurus. It's a bit harder to be ready for anything, since anything can be literally anything. Nope, we've got some backup. Yeah. Tell me you have things under control. Do you want me to lie? Control my anxiety? Yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. Yeah. And I'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt? Attempt? We need success, Dr. Dula, before it can eat Grady and the others. No, please don't say that. You believe in the team, right? Yeah, it's a bit harder to hit them when they're, well, trying to kill something. Okay, there was two hits. That, that, that was enough hits. And that leg should not have been like that. Alan, what's our status? We're close. We have everything almost under control, but the animal is injured. We'll need to get her to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Yeah, with the way that leg bends, uh, no shit, it's injured. Okay, it'll get its own private suite over here. And might as well expand, you know, expand its hut a bit. So, that way. And there. Probably still a bit small, but we can expand it later. Okay. Actually, these two have way more room than they need, I think. They're just enough? Okay. Well, Wait. they're not spaceful going back and forth at all. And the herbivores? What about them? As long as they stay away from civilization, leave them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt? Yes, I'd say they will. I guess that's something we're all going to have to get used to. Having dinosaurs out in the world. 
Is that you talking, or is that the government? Claire, I am the government. Okay. <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> okay. Just let's see. Let's take a look at that one's name. Yeah, that's that was one. <laughs> Stirs having a snack. Okay. Uh, I believe they're outlined that like that because of something in the settings here. Uh, let's see. Uh, gameplay. Icons over, icons over, yes. Uh, terrain contours. It's, it's basically to help keep an eye on where they are. Let's see, subtitles. Uh, where the heck would... Ah, there. Let's turn it off for a bit. There we go. That looks a bit more natural, huh? Let's see here from... Uh, yeah, that looks much better. Let's see. If you're the government, then lower taxes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. let's speed up. How come they don't wake up during the flight, but when they la let let's be glad they don't wake up during the flight? Yeah, they're probably keeping them. Uh, they're probably just shooting a few extra sed uh, sedatives into them as they go. And asset has been delivered. Oop. Yeah, they have to be careful with that hill. Yeah, uh, let's see. Where is our ranger um, team? What the? And these are not going to be happy with the snow here. Yeah, especially the corner for the corner is meant to live in uh, South America. <laughs> in, a, in an area that was more like the last map. Okay, status check these. Okay, you'll have to drive around. <clears throat> uh, let's see, monsters. They're as flimsy as a piece of paper. <laughs> okay, we'll probably have to do something with the snow. <clears throat> Speed this up a little bit. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm going to need a paleomedical facility to assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll need to do a full medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. I just gotta turn it around a few times, find a bit of space, add a path. Yeah, luckily in this game, people aren't too annoyed when you have a Facilities like this up close to the past and such, they do in the zoo, in Planet Zoo. Uh, I see a security risk here. What then? You put the hospital next to the damn door to a predator. <laughs> well, if it gets out, it can get the medical assistance quickly. <laughs> it's gonna be probably go after the patient, Captain. <laughs> Okay. And, well, of course, the doctor's car is fully armored. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pizza Lover, what happened? Did the yellow eat you? Maybe. Uh, they're okay. probably lurking. Okay. Tranquilize and transports. So, we go to the capture team. At task. There we go. And yeah, rather fitting that its its leg is broken after we saw it flail <laughs> around after we uh, <laughs> tranquilized it at first. So it's probably not going to be too happy with this. Also, while we're here... Oh, that, that area is too small. Okay, so while it's away... We can expand on that. Here we go. Okay. Now, put you over there. 
Okay, and yeah, this is also what we need staff for. And it seems that we don't have enough qualified staff for this. Yep, staff and assign. Transporting the dinosaur without assigning staff, which means you will have to manually assign. Okay, let's move it anyways. And let's see. We need at least one more person. Or actually, we're out of space on that. Build another staff center. Can we build a staff center? Don't think we can. So we're going to have to fire someone from the looks of it. Uh, let's see. Sorry, Kande. You may be... You may be a positive influence, but you're not... <laughs> enough competent. You're not a competent enough influence. Okay. Let's get you. Since you're... Well, you're a generalist, which means that they are good at most things. But no experts. And in general, you want more experts than anything else with this. Uh, let's see... How do we assign... How do we manually assign the person to that now? Let's see, control room. Not the research. Not the database. It's map, management view. Operatives. Ah, yeah. These are, of course, going to be necessary for when shit eventually goes down. So let's <laughs> might as well plunk Perfect one down right away. Okay, okay, Nick says I heard that need the helipad. Okay, I'm guessing the... <clears throat> I'm guessing we se can select someone to work on the dino once they're in here. So let's speed things up a little bit. I think we can control that with... Yep, yeah, one, two, three as well. Okay, assign... Miss Nueke here. And there we go. It's going to take about two minutes. So let's speed up. And... Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> see as they just spray this thing with antiseptic the entire time. <laughs> Let's see, monsters, two girls, wow, <laughs> you the Rizzler. <laughs> I, I've been hearing people use that as slang a lot recently, like Riz. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to mean. Like, I can infer Same, I would... the general meaning, but not the specifics. Yeah, uh, I'm still debating if it's a good or negative term. <laughs> I guess it's a bit similar to, uh, yeah being a pimp or something okay it's been treated so put it back in its pen it's now bigger pen as of right now okay a pen is a good one all right we might as well put those there for easy transport because yeah the, these ranger teams can be spending quite a lot of time going from point a to point b so, I think in general it is a good idea to try and get as much of a clear pathway for them to go from, well, A, a to B. And it's... Are you going to hunt a... Okay, this time it's pizza. Speed that up a little bit. Pizza flavored goats. <laughs> Okay, also now that we have a medical van, sign that. Okay, now what are you missing? It's Forests deep. and prey. Oh, yeah, he shot. Uh, oh, once, once there's, it means girls like you by you being there, I think. Okay. All right. And there we go. Just <laughs> perfectly happy Allosaurus. Even if it is still a bit scarred. <laughs> and it immediately goes for the goat. Yep. Okay, it's a good thing that they chew somewhat. 
But yeah, I, I do know also the the slang that they use with the GOAT, like it's capital GOATs. I'm pretty sure it stands for greatest of all time. Part of the healing process is to get some rest, preferably someplace comfortable. Always works for me. Same for the dinosaurs, I'd imagine. You imagine Deep. correctly. Not according to my ex. Hmm. Yes, moving on then. We want to have the animal transported and then secure and comfortable in its enclosure, if you please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if the dinos start annoying your ranger vans, then the capture <laughs> teams start annoying the dinosaurs. This place needs to be resupplied. Let's fill up on that. Okay. And just wait out the timer a bit more. Uh, let's see. Monster. If you look back up the chat, there's other things. Let's see, after you named the, uh, the Carno, we went quiet. Oh, so I could help you finish Chaos. Two girls now, you the Rizzler. Let's that. Yeah, I, I think I've covered most of the guests here. Oh, hello. Is that, was that play or competition for who is the leader of the pack? Because that will happen every now and then as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> It can't really be comfortable when it's out and knocked out. There we go. You <laughs> security rating five. That means that these fences can't actually keep it in if it wants to get out. So we need to keep it comfortable <laughs> for our own sake as well. Okay, and that's the mission complete. Well done, Captain. <laughs> We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one-fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In. The. Forest. <sighs> I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Yeah, they're the going to roam. Definitely do. <laughs> okay, Pennsylvania, with operations ongoing across the country, the DFW needs to establish a central headquarters to house all something something. The only way to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? And um, yeah. Um, phrasing? Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> Oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. 
We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Okay. Uh, let's see if I want. So, warning, never get an indom or not sandbox. Yeah, those tend to be very, very grumpy from what I've uh, heard. As in, they will... Attracted by small electric... What? Okay. They uh, tend to get escape happy, unless you keep them absolutely perfectly happy all on their own or something like that. Okay. We've got Carnos incoming. So... Yeah, I think these are probably going to be too small to start off with. But oh, at least it'll give us a good feel. A good feel. Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's expand these by another half or so. Just to be a bit more certain. There and there. Same with this one. Okay. And with the electric fences, or at least the powered fences, you need at only a part of it that is covered by an electrical by in the electrical uh, supports. <coughs> okay. Uh, oh, Speed up oh a little they bit. added that function in this game as well. Oh, bloody hey, no more they are knowing to handle. Uh, let's see, they're also going visible. Okay. That will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then oh. get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc. Perfectly. Because, damn it. Hmm? They didn't keep to keep their names. <laughs> okay, I thought they were going to play there. Okay, send these guys out. We get a check on them. They probably are not too happy with this. So let's at the very least put down a life of the a life prey feeder. And yeah, they want sand and water. Let's put the water about in the middle and just paint some sand all around that. A beach? Oh, well, a rocky beach? There we go. You do, need, you do need to keep a bit of an eye on these values as they explore and fill in more because these are percentile based and not that they need a certain amount of each so that they want a certain percentage of them. So let's keep get, put it a bit higher than that. Do they have enough space? Yeah, they are perfectly happy at the moment. Okay. And we need one of these in position. There, and there. Okay. Let's wait for that to finish building. And that's two out of three. Okay. Let's see, monsters, I pooped my pants when it went invisible. <laughs> they want the beach. <laughs> well, they got a pool instead. Okay, Yellowsaurus is coming in. They will also want a life, pre yeah, life prey feeder. So let's put that there. A bit of water in the middle. Okay, reminds me. Uh, hmm? uh, how cool has been it over uh, by your place? Hmm? Uh, you mean the weather? The weather, yes. Uh, reasonably. Like, I've not had the need, I haven't had the need to, like, uh, put the heater on the, my bed up to the second level or so. But it is slowly but surely starting to cool. I have always my turn off. 
but yeah, I to be the oh, last few I'm days be sure sleeping in pajamas. Comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are. So <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Let's see, monsters. Oh dear. Uh, so needy. Put it on a beach, and it will love it. <laughs> I don't think it'll like the drinks, though. Okay. Now, is it in the range to be checked from this one? Uh, just about. We'd probably need to build another one. Just to be certain. Lately. Yeah. The only thing these really do is automate where the ranger teams go. So any dino in the range of this will get checked on by the assigned ranger teams. They can have up to two assigned. And yeah, since the ranger teams can have only a maximum of five tasks, either planned ones with patrols or ordered directly. So we can only assign them to five places. Though that would be a bit much, I think. Let's see. Edit. Add the prey. Wait. Uh, like, okay. Oh, wait, I, I think I put in the wrong thing. Oh, dear. That's yeah, a corner for a feeder. Here, or, 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 let's see, a type already put in a dessert and they will freeze to death if, if it gets minus 50 Celsius at night. Oh, yeah, they can't get freezing out there. And I mean, it, one is, two is, and you talk about food. Yeah, then you're, th you're talking about desserts. Uh, okay. Some desserts are dessert cold. <laughs> no, I don't think they're so that cold. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm cold. Something happened in my morning walk today. Oh. Yeah. I returned, looked at myself in the mirror, and um, noticed I had frozen ice icicles in my mustache. <laughs> the dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed, so build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Yeah, I do like those little outlines or that they put in to see where the path would go if you branch off a path. Okay. Let's see. I made this, uh, can you see water? I uh, stayed. <laughs> okay, yeah, staff centers. That allows us to recruit more people. <laughs> that has doubled now. Okay, just gotta wait for that to finish building. That is also something that I like a bit about this, that it doesn't immediately get plonked down. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Okay, now I'm curious, why do you want me to see water? I think you, I think you want to hear your accent on that. There we go. Wait for that to finish. Okay. Okay. Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. 
Okay, let's see. True, I never heard it before. Oh, you never heard a uh, Swede speaking English, all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's I'm see. Swedish, and Hila next to me is Dutch. That's our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity on the outskirts of St. Louis. Or St. Louis. Two injuries. Okay. There. Two ankylosaurus. Okay. Oh. And Babingida can do that job. And yeah, most of these, okay, sending these the out also first. costs. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for a PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Let's see. Uh, house power. Okay. Yeah, this is a little trick that you can do if you, uh, if you are building fence or power fences outside of your uh, power areas. You can connect them with a bit of fence that is powered. Okay. Get you over here. It's probably way too foresty for you, but we'll deal with that in a few seconds. You spread it and learn to climb trees. <laughs> That's going to be a bit difficult for them, I think. Yeah, actually, it would be terrifying. You look, you hear something, look up, and you see a damn ankylosaurus up in the tree. It just dropped down on you. Okay. Rambo style. <laughs> actually, we need to do Rambo style. Your support is slamming you at that point. Asset transported. Okay. Ignore that for a second. Go over there to check on them. Mm. Okay, let's move that little trick. Yep. Let's move that little trick up to the back here. Wait yeah. for it to finish. I just remember, I wanted to tell you something earlier, but they said to save for the stream. Hmm? You remember the Mosasaurus, right? Yeah. You know where we first found? Oh, uh, where then? Netherlands. <laughs> okay. Yes, it was a Dutchman who named it Mosasaurus. Why do we get the feeling Mosa comes from Moses or something? I think it did. <laughs> Let's see. Monsters. Uh, yeah, I love the Dutch. Uh, I can speak British and Russian a little. Okay. All right. Um, Let's put one of these in here, and yeah, as, as you can see, it has a few blind spots to the sides. Uh, actually, let's try and build a little bit of an outcropping here for it. Like, I think that should do. Probably shouldn't have removed it that quick, but oh well. And yeah, now it covers nearly everything of the enclosure there. Ooh, nice. Then we just put a pause. You have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at life as much as any other living creature. Honestly, perhaps even more as the miracle of science gave them a second chance. So, do the research, find the cure, and then let's use it. Or the dinosaurs die. Again, and listen, that's not going to happen. Uh, let's see, ground fruits. Uh, um, warning sign up there, red text. Yeah, that's the disease. Uh, crypto... Let's see, research. And let's see. 
Cryptosporidius. Uh, enables the dart rifle medication of, for, with mobile vet units. Causes dinosaurs to become dehydrated. This disease can spread throughout the park and is caused by parasites. Okay. Let's get our generalist to work on that. And that yeah, once that's bites. done, we can treat it. <laughs> In the meantime... Need to clear up a bit. There we go. Now they have more than enough than they want. And pray that they don't decide to use the yeep as a ping pong ball between the clubs. Let's see, monsters like mustache? Uh, <laughs> like how mustache? What? Okay. Just need to give it time for it to research. You can see ongoing stuff, ongoing stuff like that over here. Refill this thing. Yeah, you re you really want to get rid of these things ASAP. Not, not maybe rid of them, but you don't want to rely on them. Okay. Now it's been researched, and the vets should get to work. Yep, has been dispatched automatically to deal with the dinosaur health issue. Hmm. <clears throat> This is the car the shoes to be in here. Like, yep. I think I will be more comfortable with a extra armored tank. Thank <laughs> you very much. Okay. And that's both of them healed, I believe. Oh, hello. You have you have a disease. Oh, you got the same thing. Okay. But we have the medication. So this just how? needs to head on over. How did I did it get it? No clue. <laughs> You're not even going into there to treat it. It's smart move. Yeah, let's see. Uh, monsters. Okay, the Mosa. Okay, so it's it, <laughs> we're saying that his name is similar to Mustard. Doctor Dua, this is Lambert. I've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Can you confirm? Yes, that's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Don't call it them targets and assets. Okay. That should be enough for a good move through. Okay. Let's see. Where is it again? Out ah, here. Expedition map. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Both of you get to work on that. Okay, we probably need to hire a few more people. But yeah, here it's sort of... It's uh, on a low level, cutting you loose to see if you can make things work. Let's see. We'll mostly need logistics for the moment. So you... And let's see... Hmm. Now let's get... Miss Isra Nasser here as well. More for that she is good with genetics. Like, in, in general, you want more specialists with this. Especially when they have traits that are useful in what they're doing. Like faster research, cheaper research, or like faster... Uh, faster expeditions, cheaper expeditions. If you can get a good pair of those... Then you can save a lot of time and money. And, yeah, just sometimes these things will still go after your cars and such. But, let's see. Okay, apparently the apparently the capture team can't be bothered to go uh, trank it at the moment. Oh, that's because it's not assigned. Well, now it is. So the next time he tries to do that, 
Well, it's going to get a few jabs. Okay, let's speed time up a bit. And let's see, we have room for another pen over this way. So let's make this a bit wider than the other. There. Two by three lengths seems to be about right for most of these, or at least enough. There. Okay. Expedition is almost done. Okay. Let's see. Three Diplo Docus caught. Okay. And there are two caught, one escaped. Okay, transport dino. And let's put you in here. Transportation underway. There you go. Oop. One more for the sticker book. Okay. Yep. Oh, that does not look comfy. <laughs> yeah, at least they're supporting every part of it. Uh, let's see. Do we have ranger post coverage here? Yes, we do. Or no, we don't. Okay. So let's put down one there. And one there. Being a bit inefficient with these, but I will. Can we actually get another team over here? There's room for another car. Resupply also. Fill up, fill up. Uh, actually, I think that's an upgrade that needs to be gotten. Oh, yeah, additional ranger team. Okay. Ranger team assign. In view. Pardon. Capture. Pardoned. And the sign here as well. There and one there. there. The air carries it and not mustard the mustache. Okay. Uh, wait, it, it, I don't think the pyrocyte is airborne. Hopefully. Mm. Okay. Rangers are incoming. Oh, that's cute. No. Cute Lassos. for a, a few tons <laughs> weighing tank and... Okay, apparently the rangers have something better to do. Okay. That just means we'll have to give them competition then. So there. Park one of these down here. And yeah, even though they <laughs> run... F even though they uh, drive around freely with these things... They still need to be connected by a pause for someone to get in there in the first place. So there. And... All right, it's still being built, so it doesn't count. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Probably smart if I put a gate near them. So they don't have to go all the way around. Let's see, monsters. It's like an airplane. Uh, okay. Just walk through grass gamers. <laughs> yeah, but these folks aren't gamers. They're paleontologists and other such stuff. Okay. At least they have most of their territory. Okay. That is just, just about enough. Okay. They need some water. Let's make actually a smaller one here. So we can just about get enough. Then let's see some forests. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can paint more of it. And now they you hid in the water for everyone else, but for them, they know where the water is hidden. Okay, I think they're going to need a bigger area, or I'm need, going to need to be more uh, precise with this. It's probably going to be easier to make the area bigger for this. 
Well, yeah. I think okay. you're within the minimum uh, size, but uh, not really good enough. Yeah, sometimes you, you you do need a bit more than the minimum of area to have room for requirements like that. Okay, uh, in the meantime, let's also send these out to capture something else. Uh, Chasmosaurus, Torosaurus, Brachio. I don't know what these are. Okay, those things. Let's send you out. And actually, a Parasaurus, uh, oh, but we can only send out one expedition at a time, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, there and there. Okay, where's the Brachys? There's the, not the Brachys, the Diplos. Okay, water, there, tall fruits. And there we go. Perfect. Just gotta wait for the next batch to arrive. Okay. Oh yeah, it makes it makes sense that they put uh, the storage facility, so to speak, close to an airport, since well, they can easily fly them in. Oh, or easier. Dear. Um, I'm not sure that's a good thing, actually. I think you're forgetting one thing, Hill. Yeah, it also means that there's a lot of victims nearby if they manage to get out. Oh, uh, that too. But also... The what? Airplanes are noisy. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Let's actually make this one bigger as well. Because the more animals are in a habitat, the more space they also need. So there we go. Has been completed. Okay. Let's assign our other ranger station here as well. It comes in one of them at least. Okay. Let's crack this open for them. Okay. Ground fiber and water, so we first give them their water. There we go. And the ground fiber. Let's go with the bigger brush for that. Okay, they want a lot of that. And a little bit of forest. There we go. Okay. They are exploring their territory still, so these values are bound to change a little bit. So let's put on a bit more forest at the edges, just in case. Okay. Let's see, we've got four viewers, let's go. Okay, okay. dang, down to three. Oh well, as long as some people enjoy the show. Speaking of, we should put these down so people can actually come and view them. Over there. Uh, yeah, you can raise your appeal by getting more dinosaurs or just making them more visible from uh, attractions. Though at the moment they're called facilities because these are quote-unquote not... Uh, tourists, but instead scientists, though they are very much behaving like tourists. And yeah, we can see the... Let's see, what where... Yeah, we can see the appeal of dinos over here. The 633 is a pretty good one, but I think it can go into the thousands. Let's see, 282, they are not too interested in these. The Ankies, 230. Let's see, it's 300. I forget specifically what heals this and what uh, affects that. But I think it's mostly a, a, yeah, mostly the uh, dino type and such. Yeah, 110. Nobody cares about these guys. <laughs> okay, one more expedition to do it, though. 
So let's see. Chasmo, Brachio. Let's get some Parasaurs. Because those are always a classic. Uh, let's see. Actually, what do Parasaurs fall under? Uh, let's see. Hadrosaurus uh, group, I think. Let's see. We can look it up over here. There are a f there are a few more species in here because I got two of the you know, two of the DLCs. Let's see. Hadrosaurus. Okay. Do we have anyone around who likes those? Let's see. Uh, Hadrosaurids. Or wait. Oh, nice. They, they don't like Taurors. What's the rock? They don't like any or many other Ceratopsids. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we end up fighting each other in a fencing or headbutting contest. <laughs> okay, let me double check just to be sure so we don't get any of our dinos killed. Uh, also. Do not try to say the name of this one, because you're probably going to trigger something in Twitch. Let's see. Yeah, how do we so raid die? Let's see, is that different than so raid? I'm presuming not, but still, this game can be a bit finicky with some of its things, I believe. Either way, let's expand their closure for the moment. Because it is easier to put multiple species that have similar desires in the same place. So as long as the as long as the parasaurs are mostly fine with ground fiber and maybe a bit more of something else, it should be good when they arrive. So let's speed up again. And I think I'm going to need to make a path down over here to cover the new enclosure bit. There. And just put a path out the minimum distance. Storm. Okay, got five of them. Uh, no, four of them and one evaded. Oh well. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Get rid of that. And one of the fences broke. So, uh, no, not. Oh, right. We don't have any uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, right there. <laughs> okay. Quickly open. Uh, yeah. This can also happen, just straight up tornadoes and sudden shit running through your space and just fucking things up. Okay, uh, Ranger Team 2. Oh, Go the fix all of this in... quickly. The act is not interested in uh, escaping, they seem to just chill. Let's also quickly put one of these down uh, there. As a precautionary measure, Actually, I see one of them roaming about under trees, trying to look for something to hide from the rain and wind. <laughs> this one here? No, no, one of the Ankies. Okay, uh... Okay, those are threats. Okay, they're... They're at risk of getting out, but they aren't actually getting out. Also note, you are not getting over there. You're fixing this fence. And that fence. Okay, that should be safe-ish. Now, you lot, you want ground nut. And more water, but you haven't explored over there yet. That's a bit much. It, it like it though. There we go. That will need to be adjusted as the as both of these go look at the other places. Okay. 
No, you are not leaving yet. You are repairing those. Okay. Those two are a threat, but they aren't actually too dangerous since they're not carnivores. So let's close all of the shelters because um, everything should be okay. Uh, wait, yeah, wait, wait. Here, I want you to go close up to an Anki. Yeah, I know you that were and all. Staying? <laughs> these things can be dangerous, but they are at least less of a danger than these things over here, which just gulped down another <laughs> goat. Uh, here's the thing, Hill. They may have horrible eyesight. <laughs> yeah. So they may be dangerous as a wide... A rhino mm. in zoo is likely to be less harmful or dangerous, but a wide rhino? That are not used to human scent? Yeah. Instant battle reaction. So if it escape, smell human is not used to battle mode. And little bit, Mr. Bill will be flying uh, maybe 20 meters from a T club. Go from these ones, since these are super sized. From a Gucci center said what might happen. Uh, potential red mist. <laughs> and welcome back, pizza. Oh, welcome back, pizza. Okay. It's only her what is it, the taste of meat. Yeah, I <laughs> actually want casual your graphics today, and yeah, that, the only thing I heard about was they actually eat meat if they need to. Peek on the threat, that isn't too big of a deal, actually. Okay. Let's connect this over here. Oop. Okay, two Baryonyx caught. Okay, one of them caught, at least. Okay. Mm, that caught, might be a bit of an, a bit big of an enclosure for that. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, but welcome back, pizza lover. Yeah, let's park it in there all the same. Okay, and we just connect moments. a bit of fence over in this way so that we can save a bit on the power by not needing to put down another fence. Uh, actually, does this connect to the other power? Oh, well. Either way, break that open. And the Baryonyx don't like this too much, so let's get rid of most of it. Okay. You know, dinos only count toward the appeal if they are actually visible from uh, platforms like that. Okay. Is it in range of posts? No, it's not really. Let's put one there. Oh, you've been here all the time. All right. Okay, just lurking. Okay, Ranger Team 2. Assign you here. Also, actually, let's... Uh, where is the post? Yeah, there. Let's remove you from that. That. And to keep you focused more on the other sides, fill this stupid thing up. Yeah, you can see why that can start building up in annoyance and other things over there. Uh, oh let's see. Let's first connect this other one first. There. And there. Okay. Now that covers most of this habitat. Okay. Now, oh, there they are. Okay, you're going to want a lot of water. So let's start with that. Okay, okay. We're making progress. But there's always more to be done. For you, anyway. <laughs> Take this next objective, for example. Okay, and then we just paint a bunch of rocks all around the place. And there we go. It's happy. 
And yeah, I'll ensure all captured dinosaurs have 70% comforts. I believe anything below 70% will get them angry enough to try and escape. So yeah, just having 100% is just perfect in more than one way. These need to be resupplied. And you can get upgrades so that they will automatically do that. Mm. Okay, speed it up a bit. And then we should be able to be finished with this. Mm. Uh, let's see, meat pizza. <laughs> Why they welcome back the entire time? Okay. Hey, we're just listening this to music. Hey, Twitch sometimes. Uh, yeah. In East a place where the dinosaurs could finally thrive. Minus the volcano. Obviously. That's a pretty big minus. <laughs> I think we can all be proud of what we've accomplished here. But? But what? I can hear it in your voice. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering what Dua is really up to. I don't buy all her saving the future by controlling the past talk. Yeah, Lambert mentioned that some of the animals were being moved to an undisclosed location. He wouldn't say, or maybe he didn't know who was taking delivery, but it wasn't the DFW. A third party? You and I are not invited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and with the last of these campaign tutorials, it's going to bring in the flyers. First reports were from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic control, but now we're getting radar hits from Portland International. So they're traveling south. Probably because of the weather. Agreed. They're migrating. But what happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? This is the modern world and the prehistoric one on a collision course. Quite literally. Okay. If Owen and Lambert do what they say they can, we're going to need facilities in place for the flyers when they arrive. Let's start with some Avery domes and a hatchery. Oh, we also need an expedition center. And as you heard, time is not on our side. There and there. And yeah, we do need to research these quick. Let's see, insufficient skill. It's, oh, it's because we lost all our, our people already. Uh, let's see, you have good logistics. So you're just a straight up hire. And can we put you to work immediately on that? Uh, you recruited some name Hammond. <laughs> okay. And let's see, is the aviary hatchery? Yep, it's the same bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the tech, the research trees is something you have to work up through. Speed this up. Like start at the bottom and work up to the higher parts. Though, of course, the higher parts are going to have higher requirements as well. And it seems that Pizza is having issues with Twitch. Let's see, I've sent this damn message three times. It just doesn't want to go through. Is it getting... I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting any pings from uh, the auto mod, so it's not that. Okay. Enclosures, aviary dome, and yeah, these work a little bit different. Uh, yeah, we can turn off the angle snapping. Okay, let's do that. And that should be a decent size. Okay. Aviary, we can connect to there. 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 Cut up the trim. And yeah, aviaries take a bit longer to build since they're more, well, complete structures. Uh, let's see how this yeah, is. You are here on Discord, okay? Oh, never mind. I was say these look like the walls we need. to realize, oh, there was just scaffolding around the actual wall. Okay, and yeah, aviaries need their own viewing galleries. So let's put one in 
right away as well, because we're going to be asked about them sooner or later. On this end. We can send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not-so-friendly skies. Okay, no teams assigned. It's because we don't have any teams at the moment. We have captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes, in a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. Yeah, the other site again. Yeah, there is definitely something going on that is ac actually does not get explained upon, I believe. Paleo Medical. Yeah, let's put you over here. There. Yep. Okay, five pounds and five captured. Okay. Transport over here. Asset in transit. There we go. It might be too small, but we can expand it after they arrive. There and there. Yep, and I see a shit here. And yeah, it, I see Pizza Lover is uh, right on point what I was referring to earlier. Yeah, yeah, I think you might have hit the cap limit on that. <laughs> okay. Assign a ranger team, assign a medical team. Capture teams are not needed because these, well, they're contained. And yeah, they're waiting in line to put these in their new place. Asset transportation complete. Uh, yeah, they, they, they don't do a marine creature tutorial. Though it works somewhat similar to these. And yeah, that's in there right now. They're lonely, but otherwise they are mostly comfortable. Okay, you want rock and water, not rock and stone. So let's start it's with rock water. And stone? <laughs> there. And paint some rocks around that. There we go. Might need to expand it. Okay. Let's see, it needs one more for the population. Okay, let's see what Pizza had to say. Uh, let's see, okay, yeah, so they're basically a modern day rhino because rhinos are basically big cute puppies, because rhinos are basically big cute puppies, and because of how their eyesight is everything they see uh, is worse than my sight with their cataracts, since everything can be blurry for them, if so, oh, so if they see a figure, or be it a person or a thing like a car, it will charge its head on and more so horn on. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think it's the same with hippos, actually. Like, they will, they're legally blind, you could say, as well. Okay. Yeah, and then we have an internal collision with the ankylosaurus being fully armored on its back and with spikes, knobs, and of course the damn club. Yeah. And of course, Imsion made it about two, three times bigger than it's supposed to be. Asset delivery confirmed. Yeah. Sometimes, if that's like you accidentally hang the one. Control. I would say famous last words, yep. but given the number of times that I could have used this very phrase over the years, I'm going to go with uh, quote predictable unquote last <laughs> words instead. Doctor Malcolm, why are you contacting us? Same thing as always, the dinosaurs, and my obsessive need to witness the car crash when it happens. It's good to Shut hear up. from you again, Doctor Malcolm. <laughs> ah. Dr. Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes, yes, we do what we can, and sometimes more than we should. Interesting times, and I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. Are they? Yes. Ergo, they should, and the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. 
Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard, Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. Let's see, that morphodons. Let's go grab a few oh. of those. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. I'm those. Isaac Clement. Dr. Malcolm should have mentioned me earlier. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery is also on our list. So, now it's on yours. <laughs> and, yeah, these things are quite sizable when you put them down. Hey, Claire. I've been thinking. When you think it makes me nervous. No, no, seriously. Why the flyers? Uh, okay, I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger and he's concerned. Yeah, that's, that's probably. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. Okay, that was the timer, but I can I think we can go a little bit over time to finish the tutorial. <sighs> yeah, you were right, Dr. Malcolm. Uh it's it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now we're putting out brush fires, but this, this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> and if we don't, where does that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance, humanity versus the dinosaurs, and honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. Okay. Oh dear. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap. Not flop, huh? 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 <laughs> why do you? Why don't you stop flapping your gums then? Okay, we got all six of them. Let's put them in their cage. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Ta -da -ta. Uh, ta -da -ta. The doom doom ring creature. I might be too small. That's what she said. I didn't hit the cap uh, limit, which is 500 words. So I don't even know. Oh man. Uh, no, hippos actually have a perfect side. They're just rather really aggressive, especially when around their babies. Yeah. Did this motherfucker just say dinosaurs? Question, where's the marine creature campaign? I think that's... Yeah, there's none. But I guess there might be in one of the DLCs. And now these are going to be in line again. We're putting these little di you know, dim things into here. Yeah. Okay, where? Look at that, Marco! Hey, Marco. <laughs> You doing well today? Let's yeah, see, we're going a little bit over time on uh, our side, on our backup. Uh, terrain constraints, what? Okay, there we go. Uh, sand, make that a bigger. Oh, that's more than enough sand. And fish yeah, needs more of water for that to fit. Yeah, let's not make it up that big. There. That should be big enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now it's only lonely, but that's going to be solved quickly enough. Uh, where's the dinos? Yeah, they're flying around in these uh, oversized bird cages. Okay, let's see. The super motherfuckers didn't do marine creatures. Yeah. 
Though I think in the base game there's only like two or so, the Mosasaurus and one other. Though I did get one of the DLCs that should have added one or two more, I think. Though it's not a DLC with... Uh, <clears throat> it's not a DLC with uh, an extra campaign. It seems like we need more flyers. So let's get these, whatever these are. Oh, oh the big snouts. Okay, oh. Hammonds, go fetch. Big snouts? <laughs> The big snouts, I said. Yes, yeah, I said a big snout. Big, big snouts. Delivery has been completed. <laughs> okay. Same pattern as the last one. Okay. The viewing gallery. Uh, an aviary. Let's put that there. Backup generator. Let's park that there. Oop. Okay, they're already coming. In. Okay, one of them got away, but okay. Purple Noctus. Oh dear. Okay. Need to do a quick pause because these don't actually function unless they're connected to a path. There and uh, yep, there out a bit, then connects. Okay, okay, it 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 took to give me two minutes uh, approach, so we can assign these and in a bit. It'll ask us about this again. Okay. And yeah, that should be enough to get this uh, to get this bit here. And I think that should be enough to finish off the mission. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Marco, just finished watching Home Alone 5. Okay. Uh, cool, by the way, if you see my new profile fic. Has One, two, three. Asset being transported. Da -da -da. Yeah, so you can look quite dashing if I do, if I say so myself. Well, thanks. So you gotta let them sleep, by the way, or they get away, or they let them get away. Uh, let's which sleep? I like the dinos don't delivered. sleep at all. Okay. Okay. Edit environments. More water, of course. And forest, okay. There. And then just enough space to actually oh, feed these things. Is. There. Okay. That's everyone with 80% comfort, and that should be it for the tutorial, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. It should all capture flies have 80% <laughs> comfort. Asset delivery. Nope. And it stopped. Did, did something go under? Oh, did these guys know their comfort is 100? Okay, what just happened? 100. Oh, it's back. Okay, weird. And yeah, that should be that. That is most of the basics for at least keeping the your dinosaurs happy. There isn't really a tutorial about keeping your visitors happy. So that's a bit more, more of a trial and error thing. And yeah, mission complete. Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms. But what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos. Don't you just love it? Oh, wait, what? I thought there were only five levels. Okay. 
think Ian Malcolm is a chaos cultist. Calling Inquisition. Over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. Hmm. What's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. And this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I only saw like five missions when we started with this. And... Okay, now it now it just puts you fully into okay. starting a park. The horse is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns. Barns, no. Expedition center, a paleomedical facility, and a response facility. Yes. <sighs> the host should give us a solid foundation. Okay, either I completely missed this somehow, or this got out of that some point later. Huh. Yeah, they, they, had, they had a free content recently, didn't they? Uh, yeah, there was a... There was, I don't know... <clears throat> there was... <sighs> I heard words that there was a big patch to be added with new content on the game. And, well, there's also the fact that it was... It, let, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, where's the... Uh, can, where's can the sixth one then you... from? Or, oh, don't... wait, but... One, two... Oh, my count was off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were... Oregon was the fourth, not fifth. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess we can uh, I guess we can finish up the tutorial next time then and move on over into sandbox unless you want to do some of the chaos theory missions it would be interesting with the chaos so now, theory missions let's head on over here and go look for someone to raid so let me close that off change the screen share over to the browser there, switch, and let's see. Uh, chat is still busy, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh, you, you <laughs> Monster was uh, speaking about the, about the scientists wanting them to get a, <laughs> a staff center. Now, I, I guess they'll just have to set up some tents. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Dr. Misunderstood is still streaming. Yakuza Like a Dragon. Armchair General is online now with Team Fight Tactics. Swalbe is online with Retro. Far Cry from the looks of it. Uh, let me double check. Yep, mute it. Uh, Chubbers is playing Dark Souls 2. Xenive Fan is playing a game called Road 96. Let me have a look at this. I think I might have heard about this game from one of my friends. Uh, might be. I, I heard that they liked that quite a bit. Lex, the neck, not Lex. Next up, we have Jackson Sam with Monstro Nom, Monstro Manami. Okay, definitely not heard of that one, and I'm not getting a preview. So let's move on. We have Lazarus playing Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Big V streams with Saints Row the Third. <laughs> Which is a bit fitting, seeing as we were showcasing number two earlier today. We have code named Ferret with Total War Shogun 2. I've heard that the, the fans of the Total War series are not too pleased with that. Mm. Wait, what? It, it, it has been out for a while and people used to love it. Did they do an update of the OVC and mess it up or something? Uh, well, maybe I was thinking of something else then. Their latest game that they released, I I think I heard a bad about that, and it seems that uh, Jackson Sim is up to something else at the moment. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, from what I've heard, uh, the Total War devs are getting greedy with upping the price on stuff and putting less effort into it. So that might be dying soon enough. Uh, next, we have Redacted Cat playing Diablo 2. Jim McGinger is playing Crosscode still. I'm getting the feeling that he likes that a lot, seeing as he has been streaming that for the last month or so. <laughs> More like almost two months. Uh, next up, we have WBPL with Parappa the Rapper 
2. Wait, that had a sequel? Okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> Wait, you, even I knew that. Okay, I, I'd only ever heard about one game from this. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I've uh, seen them in a store. <laughs> there might be free, and I, I suddenly just went, nope. Okay, uh, Touch Shady Tail is playing Party Animals, Halloween is playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I still need to try that game myself. And last but not least, we have Little Karibo who is playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. And let's see, Wonsters is asking, have any of you played The Long Drive? I don't think so. I might have heard about that, but it doesn't spark much of a memory. Phoenix hmm. Wright... Right. Anyways, uh, any of those that you would uh, suggest, or shall I take another pick? I will let you take a pick, but I actually zoomed out. It's probably a good sign that I am sleepy. Yeah, we did go about 15 minutes over time now. Uh, let's see, we raided Lashers recently. Uh, let's go raid Cinebe Ben then. Raid Road 96. So, copy the name. And then over to our place and slash rates paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Ooh, pardon. Thank you, Wonsters, for watching and the follow. Thank you, Marco. And thank you, Pizza Lover. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Yeah, yeah, since I was lurking again. <laughs> yeah, I've been using the chat I've been using OBS's chat feature more recently, other than the uh, in instead of the chatty program. So that, that doesn't show the just that doesn't show the lurkers unless I'm actually gonna go look for them. <clears throat> okay. But for now uh, let's see. Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe multiplayer tomorrow if Ram and Liz feel up for it. Uh, maybe something else instead, or maybe just another rest day. But on Tuesday, we'll be continuing with Dawn of War 2 Retribution, and hopefully finishing it up in this week, or very likely finishing it up in this week. And then we'll move on to Sonic Adventure. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be something. <laughs> it's going to be an, an adventure. <laughs> but for now, let's get that right started. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. And Carnotaurus. And uh, nasty flyers. <laughs> <laughs>